am I not getting any sound? Let me see. Okay, there we go. Now I'm getting sound. That was odd. Sorry about the oddness there, guys. You know, for the no one, n none of you that are actually watching. So, now normally I just do uh, Planet Zoo videos for YouTube, but I decided to stream some because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play it until, you know, until I get tired of playing it. Okay, North African themes, blueprints, levels 2, that's good. Okay. And let's see, we got... Our llamas are doing okay, even the one that's imitating a dead llama right there in the front, because it likes to sleep like that. And our peacocks have heaters, so they're doing good in the snow. Now, the next animal I wanted to do was the Galapagos giant tortoise, of which I have two. But to do that, what I really want to do is kind of do a building for them. I don't want to have this be an outside uh, exhibit. There's going to be an outside portion to it, don't get me wrong, but it's going to be an interior habitat. Um, that's important. Certainly impressive looking. Oh, look at this. Okay. Alright, let's break it away from the group and we will move it. Just bring it over here. Spin it around a little so it's, you know, right next to the, uh... Well, you know, this. What would you call it? The, the path. The walkie thing! That's it, yes. Don't you hate it when you, when you lose words? When you're, you know what you want to say, but you lose words. Now, my problem is, I had a stroke. And one of the side effects of this stroke... Oh, look, it's floaty. One of the side effects of the stroke that I had is that I occasionally can't remember words for shit. And the stupid thing is, is I'll be talking and I'll be talking. And I, I'm like, no, I can't remember it. I can't remember it. And someone else will go, well, did you mean this word? And I'm like, yes, I meant that word exactly. That is the word I mean. It is the word that I wanted to say. That word. Exactly that word. And, um... Not two minutes later, I'll want to use that word again, but I've forgotten it again. And, and that's how brain injuries work, guys. Brain injuries suck, and, uh, you know, oh well. It's a thing, but it's a strange thing, and it's odd and off-putting, so... All right. I am going to get all of these. Um, basically, the reason why I'm concentrating on all these plants here is because what I'm trying to do is just clear the area uh, just a touch, you know, just, just, just enough. Facility has broken down. I wonder which facility has broken down. Probably something that shouldn't be breaking down. If I seem a little more flippant than I am on my normal zoo videos, I apologize. That's not my intention. It's just... Um, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, this past weekend, as I, as I, as I am playing this, uh, it's a, a Sunday afternoon. Well, the, the previous Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I, uh, I worked at a, at a convention here in Orlando. 
and I had a great time. I, I met a bunch of people, um, some famous, some not. Um, I'm friends with a bunch of famous people also, just so you know, because I work these conventions for a company. The, the publishing company that um, advertises on some of my other videos, I'm really good friends with the owner of that company, and as such, he'll say, hey, you know, how, how'd you like to come work a con with me? And, you know, he'll say, you know, I'll, I'll get you into the convention, and uh, you can have some fun meeting people, and all I need you to do is help make sure that uh, this or that, you know, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll sit with one of the talent. You know, in this case, I was sitting with a voice actor by the name of Carlos Ferro. Now, Carlos and I are friends. We like each other a lot. And we've worked together before. And Carlos is, of course, the voice of Dominic Santiago from um, the Gears of War series. But arguably the, the one character in that series who's, who's literally the heart, the emotional heart of the series. And um, he's also done, let's see, he's done a couple of anime uh, translations. He's done... Um, a couple episodes of Scooby-Doo, even. Um, and, you know, he's a prolific voice actor. He's also a, a, a pretty prolific face actor. He, he once played Ensign Dern, who was one of the pilots of the USS Enterprise in Next Generation. So it's, that's very cool. And, uh, you know, on top of it all, he's just a nice guy, and I love working with him. And so, you know, I... I, uh, I sat at his booth and I, I helped him out. You know, if he needed a bottle of water, I got him a bottle of water. Um, but, I, but my primary job is to play bad cop. And the way that works is Carlos is a sweetheart. He really is a sweetheart. And he doesn't like saying no to his customers and he doesn't like being harsh to his, you know, well, not his customers, but to, the, to his fans. Um, he doesn't like being harsh to his fans. He doesn't like saying no to his fans. But every once in a while, somebody has to and when one of his fans you know does something that's inappropriate or you know does something that's illegal even it's the bad cop's job to stop the guy from or or girl from doing it and that's that's where I come in that way I act like a you know, I, I'm the hard case who comes down on the fan, and Carlos gets to get, gets to hide behind me and basically say, "Well, yeah, sorry, but uh, you know, this that's his job. His job is to watch out for me, and it is. That's that's my job when I go to these conventions. My job is to watch out for whoever I'm sitting with. Um, but as a side effect of all that, I get to uh, hang out with some pretty cool people and. This weekend, in addition to Carlos Ferro, I got to hang out with Marty Grabstein, who, of course, is the voice of Courage the Cowardly Dog, as a lot of people may know. And Marty is, of course, a an absolute sweetheart. He's a great guy. And I get along with Marty a lot. Very nice guy. Very nice guy. And, um... You know, I also uh, hang out a little bit with... Um, author Dan Wells and author Jody Lynn Nye author Brian D. Anderson all very very nice people and of course they're very cool because they um, they write fantastic books and are just fun people to hang around with now you know what no let's back this up although the entire weekend, the most interesting thing, some of the most interesting things that happened to me were by accident. For example, I ran into Eric Estrada. For those of you who don't know, Eric Estrada um, played John uh, Poncherello in the 1970s police series Chips. Very cool uh, show. He was very popular back in the day. Um, and, you know, he's, he was just a very nice guy, give, giving to his fans and all that number. Well, um, as some of you may be aware, I'm, I'm disabled. And when it comes to walking up and down stairs, um, because I am disabled, I have to basically uh, 
watch my feet at all times and I lean on a cane so I wasn't really watching where I was going and uh, coming up the other way was of course Eric Estrada and he was kind of concentrating on his phone and there wasn't much traffic on the stairs and you know one thing led to another and the next thing we know I'm you know he's he's ran right into me bodily which is not really a problem you know it, he didn't he meant no harm I meant no harm it happens you know two people bumping into each other you know it's, it's a pretty common occurrence and you know he caught me before I I fell whoops he caught me before I fell kicked, helped me get my balance back asked if I was okay you know just being a nice guy and I'm like yeah I'm fine I'm fine you know thank you and then um, you know we, we kind of went our, our, our own separate ways well the funny thing was that I had taken maybe two steps when I realized that I had just slammed bodily into Eric Estrada. So I'm like, oh my god, you're Eric Estrada, you know, as, as you do when you suddenly encounter uh, uh, celebrities that you weren't expecting to encounter. And he goes, yeah, that's me. And I said, you know, I I, uh, I was a big fan back in the day. And he, he's like, hey, that's great. Thanks, you know, th thanks for letting me know. That's great to hear. You know, all very nice about it. You know, he was, he was a very, really, very cool cat. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. I, you know, the day I met Eric Estrada. But um, the other interesting encounter was with, um, oh, geez, I can't remember his name now. But he was this, you know, the, the, lead, the, the, the lead guitarist in the band The Safaris way back in the day in the 60s. And I just thought he was cool because he, he talked a lot about you know, being a musician back then and how they basically invented, he, he and his band basically invented an entire genre of music by themselves. And they did, and it was very cool. And meeting him was very cool. And I had a lot of fun. And I love, and that's why I love doing uh, conventions. Not because, you know, not, not for any other reason more than I get to hang out with some pretty cool people. It's a fun gig. Alright, come on, let's get this working. It's not going to be perfectly straight, I don't think, which may be a problem, I don't know. Yeah, it's, and it's not quite perfectly straight, look at this. I think that's going to be about as good as I can get it. Do 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 Um, but I worked my ass off all weekend, and as a result, I am exhausted. Um, I was originally, when, when I, you know, I originally was supposed to be streaming, um, Evil Genius 2. I've had a lot of problems with that game, and, um, you know, keeping it going and all that number. It doesn't, for whatever reason, the game does not like to be streamed. And I know other people have done it successfully, but I've... I've always had problems keeping it going. It, 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 it's like it's, you know, it crashes a lot. And I'm not sure why. Maybe it's my hardware. I don't know. But the point is, it just does not like to be streamed. And, um, let's see. Here we go. Now you're wondering what I'm doing probably. What I'm doing is I'm laying down the walls of what eventually is going to be the Galapagos turtle, tur turtle habitat. Um, the, the, the Galapagos turtles don't require a lot of 
uh, space. Neither do they require a lot of wall, to be honest, because, I mean, these things, I have seen them, and they're big animals, but they don't, they're, they're not huge, and they don't require a lot of, uh, a lot of there there, if you know what I mean, and you probably don't. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, the, the, well, you'll see. You'll see. Okay. But this is going to be Galapagos Tortoise Land. Let's see. Arches. Arches. Who's got the arches? There's the arch. Okay, let's put this up. And what I want is... I Nope, I want you to go up there. Is that where I want? Hold on. Yeah. I want this. All right, you getting me? You guys, you guys getting me? I hope so. All right. Okay, let's remove you, or rather, yeah, not not remove, but what is it? One, two, three, four. From, all right, you. Let's put you over here, and then it's one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, yeah, there. All right. that and this all right now what should I do over here you know what I'm gonna do the same thing This is what I want. Okay. These short walls are, are, are exactly what I need. Now, um, I am going to put barriers. Okay, so we're going to have basically a null barrier the entire way around because it's going to be operating on the basis of these logs. And um, I'm going to bring it to here. this. That right there is going to be the keeper entrance. Alright. Now. <clears throat> Alright. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? I want to do this like this. Alright. Are you telling me there are no log... Well, I guess I can do wood panel. Metal clad roof. Metal clad roof. Clay tiles. Slate roof. Thatch roof. I don't want... You know, vertical wooden planks. Let's see. 